Hey everybody, Rikles here, and welcome to GOAT's MMO Simulator. My username is Rikles, oh boy. And right from here, you just want to go to the start, because we want to be the tank, the default uh, class. So right where we start, we are in a little village, and we actually need to be, to be in this maze, which we can just skip over. Okay, maybe I should explain the main gimmick here first. It's, uh, there are two power-ups as a tank. There is the Y button, and there is left mouse button. Or left mouse button, left trigger for me, or L1. The left trigger actually does this. You might think, how is it fast? Well, you go instantly down. And, <clears throat> and the other one which you activate by pressing R on the keyboard, or triangle, or quest, or Y. You go forward! Really fat. Okay, th this is new. Whatever. It's new for me, I mean. Okay, so from here you go on top of here. Try to get right here, just in this maze. All the way, um, okay. We go into the maze here. Go all the way to the end, to the right, is the first goat statue. From here we do some respawn abuse, walk around, and go on a merry way. So yeah, from here, we need to get onto this roof, so just use both of your powers to get up here. So from here, you can instantly go right into here. And yeah, there are only 20 statues, which is nice. If you fail the jump, you can just do it from here, I guess. Yeah. Furthermore, this level is not really all that exciting in terms of... <clears throat> in terms of, uh, yeah, strategies, technique. Pretty easy. And it's also a little bit of just wigging it. So yeah. Jump from this mushroom. It gives you some amazing speed and air. Fourth one is right in this house. Against the pup. Keep that in mind. Through here. Via this route. Go up there. <laughs> Number five is here in the tent. So all the way to the back side of the wall. We have a mini-map on the upper right side of the screen. Take a look at that. From here, turn around. Uh, is it? No, actually it's... From here, jump on these rocks. Stare. Okay, there was a bear. Go all the way up here and... Make it. Do another thing and... Hey, we got here. And the next ghost statue is on top of this guy's butt. I don't even think their Tost knew that this was a guy and the statue's on his butt. So from here, get number 8. Don't do that uh, stomp attack here. Reason this is an explosive. Let me show it. You don't want that. Okay. Yeah, just do it here and you'll be safe. Okay. From here on out, go onto this island. Don't hit the mushrooms. Now we're in Twist Ram. Try to go alongside all these rams. Don't get hit, and either from the inside or here. Go to the top uh, story of this building. Grab the thing and. Yeah. Oh, awful. Okay, don't go there, just go to this wall and wall climb, as we did before, all the way up there. Next one is on top of the altar. However, don't go down here. That's, that's bad. That's kind of an end of the run. So now, go behind the church and... You can either just jump from there or charge from here. However, if you charge... Be sure that there are those rocks 
uh, under the water. Otherwise, we'll go to the bottom of the ocean. Okay. So, from here. If you go down, that's not a problem. Actually, that's the normal route right now. So, yeah. Uh, was that it? Yeah. That's one over here. Okay. From here on out. What you want to do is jump one time. And the second jump is hold forward when the camera is like this. One, hold forward. And if you do it right, like I didn't, then you will get on top of there. If you want to have a little bit more height, you can always just ragdoll. Okay, from there I go through the window on top of this building. Through the window again. Um, I, ne I never did that, okay? So jump on these rocks. And here is number 14. And with that, we're just going to leave the Elven City. Okay, before we all go towards the beach of Glarbargle. There's a hidden trophy somewhere around here. Here it is. Super hard to see, but it's possible to miss it when you are used to doing another category in this game. But that's just me. Uh, yeah, statue. There's a golden statue right in the middle. Don't break off the tower, that's again another category. Go all the way to the back of Glarbargle Beach. And watch out for the mermaids. So yeah, grab that one. And what I did there was a charge on the water. Not sure if that's a glitch or not, but basically whenever you uh, charge from there, let's let's do it actually. It's always not always consistent, but if you charge from here, keep forward. And yeah, I did better last time. Just check the controller inputs. However, on the second island, on the back side, there's not a trophy. From here and out, into the gate, into the old goat pass. Hey, here's their toast, the other goat runner. And he's having internet problems. From here, uh, well, I guess this is faster. That's number 19. <laughs> and through there. And we are right into the, the last dungeon of the game. From here, just follow the dungeon all the way to the end. Oh, man. Okay, this is a crusher and you don't want to be there. Just rush through. Here's an old goat. Because goats are actually reptiles. And just wall climb to the top. If your wall climb is running out, just jump and press the charge button again for an infinite wall climb, which is kind of the only trick we're using. And the last statue is right there on the toilet. So jump, charge on the right time, and here's number 20. And that's got MMO. Thank you so much for watching, and next time. Uh, we will be looking at whatever it's called at Goat Z. No, not not that, you 4chan user. See ya.